Good morning, everyone. Hello. It's Monday, and it's really wonderful to see you. How are you doing today? Really fantastic. How was your weekend? Really great, too. Did you have fun? You go outside, get some sun? Yeah? That's wonderful. I'm really happy for you. So I have something new. I wanted to remind all of our parents, mom and dad, check out our summer camps online and let's get some more information so we can come see you or we can see you. How about that? Fantastic. Let's take a look at our calendar. What's today? Monday. So yesterday was Sunday. Tomorrow is Tuesday. How many days are in the week? Seven days. Okay, let's sing our seven days of the week song really fast. All right? There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You remember what month are we in? July, fantastic. So we know it's Monday, July 13th now, 2020. Fantastic. Let's do our Pledge of Allegiance. Are we ready for this? You are? Okay, find your right hand. We're gonna put it over the heart. We're gonna look at our flag, all right? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Let's come on over here and take a look at some doctor math. What's doctor math? It's this right here. Do you have, your doctors are in color? That's awesome. Mine are in black and white. So, let's look at these doctors here. Our doctors are the counters, right? Ooh. Okay, so the first one we see is how many? One, two, three. Okay, so we have three doctors plus how many over here? One, two. Okay. Three plus two. Can you tell me what is three plus two? Gonna use the fingers? That's great. We can also count our doctors here. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Okay, what do we write in this box? Five. Beautiful. Five. Okay, and here, how many, what's our uh, equation here? One, two, plus one, two, three, four. Two plus four. Are we going to count that all together? Yeah. Okay, let's count those all together. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many doctors are here? Two plus four equals six. That's right. Let's do our last one together. One, two, three, four doctors plus one, two, three. Four plus three. How much is four plus three? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four plus three is seven. Oh, look at these numbers. Five, six, seven. Is that in the right order? Yeah? Fantastic. Last week, we looked at 
adding ones and twos. We did one plus one, one plus two, one plus three, one plus four, and we did two plus one, two plus two, two plus three, two plus four. Let's try threes here. I made this all by myself, no worksheet, that's okay. So if you don't have this right, written down, that's okay. You can listen to me and help me count counters on here. So let's see here, we have threes. We're starting with three, so we're doing three plus zero, three plus one, three plus two, three plus three, three plus four, right? And maybe we're gonna see the same pattern that we did last week. When we add one more, we go to the next number. All right, so let's here, we have three plus zero. Three plus zero. So we have one, two, three, and we have zero right here, or here. Okay, let's count those all together. One, two, three. Okay, three plus zero is what? Three, awesome. Okay, what about three plus one? Three plus one. One, two, three, four. And three plus two is next. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's do three plus three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three plus three is six. Okay, look at these numbers. We're adding one more, one more, one more, one more, more, and it's getting bigger by one, by one, by one, by one. Isn't that neat? So what do we think three plus four is? What is that gonna be? Yeah, seven. You guys got it. Okay, what about three plus five? Eight. Okay, I think it's gonna be eight too. Let's do the count, let's count our counters to double check before I write it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got it. Eight is the right number. How about Three plus six, what's that gonna look like? Nine, okay. And three plus seven? 10, awesome. Three plus eight? That's kind of a big number, right? So let's see, three plus eight. We have eight on this side, three over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That makes sense. That sounds right because it's going three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It goes bigger one number each time. So that was eleven. Three plus nine is going to be what? Twelve. Okay. And three plus 10? Right, 10, 11, 12, 13. We got it. Those are all of our threes. Good work, everyone. Let's clean up our counters and take a look at some beginning sounds. We are ready for some more beginning sounds. These are for letters W, K, and G. All right, let's write our name up at the top. Okay, and let's color these pictures. They need some color. What is this first one? Yeah, you have one of these at home? What is it called? 
A wagon. A wagon, that's right. So when we say wagon, what is the first sound we hear? What letter? Wagon. Wa wagon. Wa wa. Is that a W? Wa wa wagon. Wa wa window. Yeah, that's a W. Let's write W on the line. W. Okay. How about this? What is that? Is that a lock? No, that's not a lock. This is the the key. Yeah. So when we say key, key, what's the first letter you hear? K -k key. Key. An H? No? A G? K, right? K. K, K. Key. Let's write a K on the line. Okay. Oh, what are we looking at here? It's not a monkey. This is much bigger, right? This is a gorilla. This is a big gorilla. And gorilla, when we say gorilla, what is that first letter sound? Gorilla, G gorilla. Can you say that with me? Gorilla, what is that first letter sound? Is it W? Gorilla? No. Gorilla with a K? G, G. Gorilla with a G. Excellent. Let's write a G on our line here. Okay, got it. What are we looking at here? It's not a snake. Almost thought so. It's not a snake. No, this is like a worm food, fish food. Bird food, fish food. That's a worm, right? That's a little worm. Is that a snake? No. That's a worm. Wormy. So, worm starts with a what? W-W-Worm. A W, yeah. That's right. What if it was a snake? If it was a snake, then it starts with a S. S but this is a worm, and it starts with a W. Cool. Let's do one more beginning sound here. Two more. Let's do two more. This is a what? Not a koala bear. Yeah, kangaroo. Where do kangaroos live? Do you guys remember learning about kangaroos? These marsupials? Yeah, where do they live? This is all the way back from the first weeks of remote learning. They live in... Australia, many of them. Okay. And when we say kangaroo, k -k kangaroo, what's that beginning letter sound? Kangaroo. K, another K, that's right. Let's write that on the line. You guys are doing great. Kangaroo, kangaroo. K all right, what's the next one? Do you like to walk into those? No, that's a what? A web, right? Whose web is that? 
The spider web. Yeah, look at that spider. Ooh. It's a web. Web. Wah, wah, wah. Very good. So that is letter W. Yeah, W. Okay, let's put that on the line. W. I see two more pictures here. Let's color those and finish this worksheet later. Right? You can do these by yourself? Okay, fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and sing a song. So this song is to the music. Let's stand up. Let's stand up. It's a big song, okay? So this is to the tune of uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. You remember that song? Okay, but this song is about our community helpers. All right, we're gonna talk about two community helpers this week. This song is about so many community helpers. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Okay, so let's sing this together here. Mailmen deliver mail. Nurses help us when we're sick. Bankers deposit money. Farmers raise cows and chicks. Doctors, teachers, and police. We need all them so. Each does his part. Always on the go. Goodness. Bus driver, sales, and firemen. Couldn't do without them too. Can't wait till you grow up. There's so many jobs for you. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it again. The mailmen deliver mail. Nurses help us when we're sick. Bankers deposit money. <laughs> Farmers raise cows and chicks. Doctors, teachers, and police. We all need them so. Each does his part. Always on the go. Bus driver, sales, and firemen. We couldn't do without them too. Can't wait till you grow up. There's so many jobs for you. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna keep practicing that song. It's a, it's a toughie. Okay. So let's take a look at our, let's take a look at ourselves. We have some senses, right? What are our senses? Hmm. Is that like walking? Is walking one of our senses we can walk? No. We have five senses, right? What are those five senses? Hmm. I can see with my eyes. I can what with my ears? Hear with my ears. I can smell with my nose, right? What about... um? What do I do with that? Taste, right? I can taste my food with my tongue. And then one more. I can, how do I feel something? Touch, right? I can touch with my hands. I can see, hear, smell, taste, and touch. Five senses. Okay, let's take out our cut and paste worksheet with our five senses. All right, maybe we can give this friend a little color too. All righty, let's do it. Color the picture, trace the words below. Cut them out and paste them to the corresponding body part, corresponding. I see a little friend here. He needs some color. He looks really happy, huh? Yeah, he looks really happy. I am happy for him. I wonder why he is so happy. Why do you think this boy is so happy? Maybe because he can see. 
Maybe he sees something really wonderful that he likes a lot. Or what else? Maybe he's using his senses. What else could he do using his senses? Why would he be so happy? Maybe he's tasting something that tastes really good. Maybe. Or maybe he is seeing someone that makes him really happy. Seeing with his eyes. All right, let's get this guy a yellow shirt. And okay, I'm ready to cut and paste after we trace the words. So we have five words here. What are these five words? These just silly random words? These are our five what? Our five senses, right? So let's see here. This first one in this list is touch. Let's trace touch. T O U C H. Touch. And the next one is taste. Taste. Let's trace taste. T A S T E. Okay, with and another one down here is smell, right? Smell. S M E L L. Smell. And a next one we do with our ears. Hear. H E A R. Hear. And the last one. C. C S E E. Awesome. Now we're ready to cut them out and paste them in the right box. Alrighty. So if you need help to cut, what do we do? Yeah, we ask for help. Is that okay? Yeah, of course it's okay. Sometimes Miss Kendra needs help. Singing songs. Staying with the music. And when I need help, I ask for help. Sometimes I get it. Okay, almost ready to start pasting after we cut all these senses out. So the first one I'm cutting out here is our sense of sight. We can see with our what? Yeah, we can see with our eyes. And we can do a bunch of other things. We can also do what with our nose? We can also smell with our nose. What about, this is touch. What do we use to touch? Right, our hands, that's right. We have two more. Taste and hear. Okay, I'm ready to paste. So let's see where these lines are going on this boy. Let's see, this first box can follow the line. This is touching his eyes. What sense do our eyes give us? Can we smell with our eyes? No, we can do what with our eyes? See, we can see with our eyes. How about the next box? What is that? Follow that line. His nose. What can we what can he do with his nose? What sense does he have with his nose? Smell, that's exactly right. And what about with his ears? What is he gonna do with those ears? Taste? 
Hear. He can hear with his ears. Hear. And his mouth. Taste. Good job. You guys are fast. Okay, fantastic. And one more. With your hands, you can touch. You guys are wonderful. Thank you. Okay. We are all done with our pasting. If you're not done yet, that's okay. You can go slow and pause, Miss Kendra, or can put it to the side and finish later. You've got options. Okay, I'm gonna put this to the side. I'm gonna take out our side worksheet. So this says color the picture, trace the word C, and try writing the word C by yourself. So we have been doing lots of practicing writing words, and I think we can write the whole sentence by ourselves. Do you think we can do that? You think we can write this whole sentence? Maybe. And it's fun to practice and fun to try. What are these here? What do we see here? Eyes, right? And these eyes are for hearing. Miss Kendra, no. Eyes are for seeing. I'm going to color my eyes. What color are your eyes? Oh, really? Is that the same as mom? Yeah? Miss Kendra has green eyes. And it's different from everyone in my family, I guess. You have the same as mom and dad? Wow, that's so cool. Same color eyes. Okay. So now I colored my eyes. Let's trace the word C. And our sentence here says, I can see with my eyes. Okay, let's trace the word C. S E E. Okay. And the directions say, try writing the word C by yourself. But I think we could write C on the line, and we could also try writing the whole sentence. Does that sound like a good idea? Okay, let's try that. I'm going to write, I can... with my oh eyes doesn't fit on the line for me right here mom and dad if if we need lines we can Add some lines, or if we don't need lines, we can just write it in our open space here. I can see with my eyes. Can you see with your eyes? Yeah? That's really great news. And what do you like to see with your eyes? If you could see anything, what do you want to see? Do you want to see a movie? Do you want to see some music? Do you want to see some TV? What do you really like to see? Ooh, that sounds so awesome. Let's put this to the side and take a look at our ears. Let's color the picture, trace the word here, and try writing the word here by yourself. Okay, so what do we do with our ears again? We hear, okay, so we hear, that's right. And how should we color these ears? Hmm. Maybe we can give it some earrings. Miss Kendra has a square and a heart today. So I will draw those shapes here. Those are my earrings, okay? And I will color my ears. Alrighty, we've got a yellow ear today. Okay, now I know you guys are coloring more and 
much better than Miss Kendra. There's so many white spots here. I could, I could do better. I'm going to finish later. I can hear with my ears. I can hear with my ears. Can you hear with your ears? Yeah, can you hear music? Can you hear Miss Kendra? Can you hear mom? Yeah? Okay, so I can hear with my ears. Let's trace the word here. H E A R, hear. All right, let's try writing this sentence on the line below. Ready, sit, write. I can hear with my ears. I can hear with my ears. Maybe I'll practice again down here with no lines. That's really neat. So my friends, thanks for doing these worksheets with me today. I see we all worked very hard. Thank you very much and it's Monday. So I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow and maybe I'll see you with my eyes. And maybe you'll hear me tomorrow with your ears, right? Those are two what? Two of five senses, right? Okay, my friends, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.